driven by nature. So let's talk briefly about theory and historical context. Don't worry, this won't be long enough to put you to sleep. For that, you'll have to read the book, actually. <laughs> Self-directed education, such as democratic schooling, rests on a power of nature, children's inborn impulse to strive, thrive, and grow. Spend time with children and you see it in their boundless energy, fits of frustration, inspired mischief, and radiant joy. It's the sustainable energy of education. Agency is a word coming into its own these days. Agency is the capacity to choose and act on your own behalf and may be a hallmark of life. A rock just sits there, but living creatures can do things, can take actions. Even bacteria detect and move toward nutrients, taking action in a primitive sort of agency. Agency is like muscle, stronger with work, weaker without. Just as physical inactivity weakens muscles, chronic restraint of children's choice and action weakens their ability to choose and act. Inactivity and restraint are sometimes necessary or wise, but greatest growth is prompted by conditions in which choice and action are exercised, constrained by limits of safety and society. That last part, constraints, is worth emphasizing. Agency is biologically installed but its actions may or may not lead to good outcomes. Unbridled pursuit of inborn impulses is unlikely to work out well in the long run. The opportunities and taming influences of community and societal structure are crucial and central in human experience. Just so at the heart of self-directed democratic schooling is the bounded freedom of agency in community. In this setting, nature and culture mix and merge stirring a uniquely personal stew of existential and situational challenges, stimulating satisfying growth. Instead of the brute force of conventional education, democratic schooling channels natural forces to drive development. The idea is to immerse children and teens in a scaled down version of the world, putting them in charge of their own life and their community. 